When dogs have gone through a long period of abuse, it can often be difficult for them to readjust to their new lives, even when they're in a loving home. Merely recovering from their physical problems can be enough of a challenge. That's to say nothing of the emotional problems that they may have sustained. After everything they've been through, it can be tough for abused pets to know how to behave around humans. For Mowgli the dog, though, things were just a little bit different. He was found attached to a chain in the woods as if he was a wild, vicious animal. But when he was finally freed, nobody expected the dog he turned out to be. In March of 2017, an elderly couple found a dog who'd been tied up with a chain in the woods. He was extremely emaciated and his paws were so swollen that he couldn't even walk. On top of all that, his skin was horribly infected. The couple quickly untied him and brought him home. It was obvious to anyone who saw him that this dog needed more help than what the couple was providing. Luckily, a concerned passerby decided to contact Misty Bowler, the founder of Streets to Sheets Animal Rescue, a non-profit organization based out of Texas. She immediately agreed to step in, despite how expensive it would be. Misty arrived on April 1st and took the dog into her own home. She named him Mowgli after the main character from the beloved children's classic, The Jungle Book. After all, this dog found a way to stay alive in the woods, just as the young boy in that book survived in the jungle. Still, even though Mowgli was rescued, he wasn't out of the woods yet, so to speak. There was only one spot on his face that Misty could touch without him yelping in pain. Misty brought him in for a veterinary examination, who discovered countless injuries and ailments. Luckily, Misty was determined not to give up on him. He was just a pup and it was obvious by his condition no one ever cared, she said in an interview. Misty spent the next few weeks caring for Mowgli. She gave him antibiotics, pain medication, and medicated baths, and plenty of food. Even though he had a bed of his own, he enjoyed snuggling up with Misty and other members of her family. As soon as we got him home and laid with him and showed him our touch was out of love and we weren't going to hurt him, he actually opened up to us very quickly, said Misty. And all he wanted was attention. Luckily, attention was exactly what he received, especially after Misty shared pictures and videos of him on the Streets to Sheets Facebook page. Strangers started sending Mowgli gifts like toys, blankets, dog treats, and even a new bed. One gift in particular really made Mowgli's day, it was a beautiful Easter basket that came complete with a stuffed bunny and gourmet dog treats, sent by Krista Chilcote, a Pennsylvania resident. There was just something about him, Krista said simply. Krista's home was about 1,200 miles away from Misty's, so she thought she would merely be admiring Mowgli from a distance. Besides, she already had a full house with her husband, toddler, stepdaughter, and three dogs. Eventually, though, her love for Mowgli became too much to handle. I said to my husband, I can't let him go any place else but here, said Krista. Long before they brought up the idea of adoption, Misty and Krista had spoken to each other on several occasions. So when it came time to consider Krista as a possible adoptive parent for Mowgli, Misty's decision was an easy one. I could tell in her voice and by the words she spoke that she loved Mowgli like I could only dream a person could love him, said Misty. By May, just one month after Mowgli was fostered by Misty, he was already getting ready to go to his new forever home. Now, Krista is still absolutely in love with Mowgli. He loves to cuddle and have his belly rubbed. He doesn't act like he's in any discomfort at all when anyone touches him, said Krista. Mowgli is also great friends with his human sister, Jovi, and his doggy brother, Ramsey. How wonderful was it that he was able to connect with his new family so quickly, even after everything that he's been through. 
When Jovi wakes up in the morning, she says, Mama, where's Mowgli? Said Krista. He's super, super gentle with her. Clearly, training to behave properly around children wasn't a problem for a sweetheart like Mowgli. Just look at that happy pooch with his new canine siblings. They're all so cute with their matching bandanas. It's already clear that they're getting along exceptionally well. It's impossible to deny how content Mowgli looks these days. Thanks to his adoring adoptive family, Mowgli has a special diet of only the healthiest foods, and his fur is regularly rubbed with organic coconut oil. Not only does he have a beautiful smile, but he's finally growing back his thick, luscious coat. Krista finds herself smiling a lot lately, too. She said she'd rather have Mowgli than any physical possession. Paw prints left on my heart are so much more meaningful than diamonds on my finger, said Krista. We're lucky. A Mowgli Day celebration was even held at the shop where Krista bought him his first Easter basket. Tons of people came to that party just to meet him, Krista said. He's doing great. And, just as Misty promised Mowgli on the day that she first met him, his life turned out to be so much better. I wanted him to know what love was, said Misty. That sounds so cliche, but it's true. Now, Mowgli knows what it means to be treated right.